With the first pick in the 2011 NFL Draft, the Carolina Panthers select Cam Newton, quarterback, Auburn. This is how the draft is supposed to work. The most electrifying player goes to the worst team. The process work. Hit. He's Carolina's all-time passing leader, third in rushing touchdowns, won the NFL MVP award, and led the Panthers to Super Bowl 50. Mr. Fisher, how old are you? What, you about 13 out here? Come on, you got the baby made, man. It's hard to argue there's been a greater player in franchise history than Cam Newton. With the second pick in the 2011 NFL Draft, the Denver Broncos select Von Miller. Linebacker, Texas A&M. His variety of pass rush moves, his ability to win at the snap because of his burst off the line of scrimmage ultimately will make him an elite player. Hit. In 10 seasons with Denver, Miller racked up 110 and a half sacks, shattering the franchise record and taking home Super Bowl 50 MVP honors. Oh, he also scored another championship ring as a member of the Rams in 2021. Pressure again. Miller. Von Miller racing through. With the third pick in the 2011 NFL Draft, the Buffalo Bills select Marcel Darius, defensive tackle, Alabama. This kid is a 320-pound animal with <laughs> rare <laughs> movement skills. Meh. Darius' career started well with an all-pro selection and two Pro Bowl appearances. Steps up in the pocket, he is ripped down. But injuries and suspensions conspired to limit his production and ultimately force him out of Buffalo. Okay, with the fourth pick in the 2011 NFL Draft, the Cincinnati Bengals select A.J. Green, wide receiver, Georgia. We didn't get very far with the one thing Chad gives us. Right. Let's go at someone that gives us something different. And this guy gives you that Randy Moss ability up the field. Hit. Yeah! Green began his career by going over 1,000 yards six times in his first seven seasons. What's his hut? Even though injuries in recent years have slowed his production, he's still the second leading receiver in Bengals history. With the fifth pick in the 2011 NFL Draft, the Arizona Cardinals select Patrick Peterson, defensive back, LSU. And they get a ball player that might be the best player in the draft. You can never have enough corners in this league. Hit. Peterson has been among the NFL's elite corners since entering the league. And it's tipped away. And it's Counted for the Cardinals. He made the Pro Bowl in each of his first eight seasons while sprinkling in three All-Pro selections. After 10 seasons in the desert, Peterson sits in the franchise's top 10 in both interceptions and tackles. With the sixth pick in the 2011 NFL Draft, the Atlanta Falcons select Julio Jones. Wide receiver, Alabama. I love the physicality of a receiver like him. What a great compliment to Michael Jacobs, Roddy White, Tony Gonzalez. Matt Ryan is ecstatic right now. Hit. Jones has more receptions and receiving yards than anyone else in Falcons history. Just going to throw it deep for Jones. Double coverage. Oh, what a catch! That's kind of to be expected when you're one of just five NFL players ever to have three 1,500-yard seasons. With the seventh pick in the 2011 NFL Draft, the San Francisco 49ers select Alden Smith, defensive end, Missouri. He's explosive. He's got a natural physical skill set. Miss. Smith looked like a star in the making after logging 42 sacks in his first three seasons. Nobody open, going down in the arms of Alden Smith. But substance abuse issues derailed his promising career, kept him off the field for four seasons before attempting a comeback with the Cowboys in 2020. With the eighth pick in the 2011 NFL Draft, the Tennessee Titans select Jake Locker, quarterback, Washington. Yeah. Draft. Jake Locker is the second quarterback taken. Miss. Locker was named Tennessee's starter in his second season. That is a 34-yard touchdown pass by Jake Locker. But struggled to stay healthy. After ending both the 2013 and 2014 campaigns on injured reserve, Locker announced his retirement before the start of the 2015 season. With the ninth pick in the 2011 NFL Draft, the Dallas Cowboys select Tyren Smith. 
Offensive tackle, USC. I think Tyron Smith has all pro written all over him. Hits. Smith has been a dominant tackle ever since he stepped on the field in Dallas. Looking left, standing, 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 standing. Now he dances to his right. He's got all day. Protecting the blind sides of both Tony Romo and Dak Prescott. Oh, he's also earned a pair of all pro selections and eight Pro Bowl appearances along the way. With the 10th pick in the 2011 NFL Draft, the Jacksonville Jaguars select Blaine Gabbert. Quarterback, Missouri. He's got all the tools in the world. He's got Sam Bradford-type physical tools. Miss. After a couple of lackluster seasons as a starter in Jacksonville, being pressured, being chased, and throws it into the Gabbard has remained in the league as a career backup, including with the Super Bowl-winning Buccaneers at the end of the 2020 season. With the 11th pick in the 2011 NFL Draft, the Houston Texans select J.J. Watt, defensive end, Wisconsin. This is kind of an athletic freak. You can see him play inside, outside, stand up, and he can disrupt an offense. Hit. All I know is, you mess with me, you got problems. Most sacks in Texans history, three-time defensive player of the year, five Pro Bowls, five All-Pro teams, and a Walter Payton Man of the Year award. There's little argument that Watt is the greatest player in the history of the Houston Texans. With the 12th pick in the 2011 NFL Draft, the Minnesota Vikings select Christian Ponder, quarterback, Florida State. Slightly above average arm, good feet, has to throw on rhythm and timing. He's a good leader, he's smart, he graduated in two and a half years. Miss. Ponder lost his starting gig to veteran Matt Castle midway through his third season. That's just a young man and a young man's mistake. By Ponder's fourth year in the league, the Vikings had moved on to Teddy Bridgewater. After playing a pair of games in 2014, Ponder never threw another pass in the NFL. With the 13th pick in the 2011 NFL Draft, the Detroit Lions select Nick Fairley. Defensive tackle, Auburn. That big boy right there is a beast, man. That boy, he has a high motor, and he will hurt you. Miss. Oh! <laughs> Clearly had a couple of decent seasons in Detroit, but struggled to stick in the starting lineup. As McCown is tripped up, down back at the 46. After a season each with the Rams and Saints, Fairley was diagnosed with a heart condition that eventually led to a career-ending release in New Orleans. With the 14th pick in the 2011 NFL Draft, the St. Louis Rams select Robert Quinn, defensive end, North Carolina. But if you want to talk about upside at that position, getting to the quarterback, I think he's the guy with the most upside of any defensive end in this draft. Hit. It didn't take long for Quinn to become a feared pass rusher with the Rams. And it's Quinn! Oh my, these Rams are flying! From 2012 to 2014, he racked up 40 sacks and was named to a pair of Pro Bowls. He's had a late career resurgence, nearly matching a career high with 18 and a half sacks for the Chicago Bears in 2021. With the 15th pick in the 2011 NFL Draft, the Miami Dolphins select Mike Pouncey. Center, Florida. My prediction is this guy's going to make the all-rookie team at guard. Just possibly like a, a Pro Bowl. Like He's that pro. good. Hit. Pouncey went to the Pro Bowl as both a center and a guard, making him just the third Dolphin to earn such honors at two positions. Let's go today, baby. Talk is cheap. Where we from? He would earn another Pro Bowl trip in 2018 as a member of the Chargers before injuries would force his retirement a few years later. With his 16th pick in the 2011 NFL Draft, the Washington Redskins select Ryan Kerrigan, linebacker, Purdue. Stout guy that can help you inside with the run and can get after the, get after the quarterback. Hit. <laughs> Kerrigan hasn't always been the most high-profile player, but he's been as consistent as they come. Hey, way to respond, D. Way to respond, D. In 10 seasons with Washington, he never registered fewer than five and a half sacks and posted 11 or more QB takedowns four times in the span of five seasons. With his 17th pick in the 2011 NFL Draft, the New England Patriots select Nate Solder, offensive tackle, Colorado. Now, Nate Solder to me is one of the most gifted offensive linemen I've seen in the last couple of years. He's got a tremendously high ceiling. Hit. Hit your smile. 
Solder has never earned any individual accolades in his professional career, but he was a mainstay on the Patriots' offensive line and helped protect Tom Brady for two of New England's Super Bowl wins. With the 18th pick in the 2011 NFL Draft, the San Diego Chargers select Corey Legion. Defensive end, Illinois. Pretty good value pick for the Chargers. Yeah, I mean, San Diego was looking for an interior or an, out, or an outside linebacker. They need to strengthen their defensive line, and I think he's the right pick for them. Meh. You're living in the past, man. Legit was never a star, but he was a consistent starter, offering steady production during the better part of his eight seasons with the Chargers. With the 19th pick in the 2011 NFL Draft, the New York Giants select Prince Amukamau. Defensive back, Nebraska. This kid's a top 10 player. Best player available uh, yes. on their board, Mike. Yes. Yes. Yep. I love the pick. Meh. Injuries prevented Amukamara from reaching his full potential as he played 16 games just once in his nine NFL seasons. Oh, it is picked off Amukamara! After being cut by the Bears before the 2020 campaign, Amukamara's attempts to catch on with other teams has been largely unsuccessful. With the 20th pick in the 2011 NFL Draft, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers select Adrian Claiborne, defensive end, Iowa. I'm going to tell you right now, you want to talk about motor, yes. productivity, and toughness, that kid epitomizes it. Miss. It's, it's unfortunate. Claiborne never panned out as a pass rusher in Tampa, missing 28 games over four seasons with the Bucs. Adrian Claiborne delivered the hit. He had more statistical success after leaving Tampa Bay, who never established himself as a consistent starter. With the 21st pick in the 2011 NFL Draft, the Cleveland Browns select Phil Taylor, defensive tackle Baylor. At 340 pounds, you heard me right, 340. He's got rare, rare movement skills. Miss. Taylor had a good rookie year, but never came close to matching it. And the pressure got him, Philip Taylor. He was released by the Browns after four injury-plagued seasons and never played in an NFL game again. With the 22nd pick in the 2011 NFL Draft, the Indianapolis Colts select Anthony Costanzo, offensive tackle, Boston College. This is a guy they can plug and play day one. He's intelligent. Meh. Costanzo never earned any individual honors, but he was a stalwart at left tackle, playing the entirety of his 10-year career with Indianapolis. With the 23rd pick in the 2011 NFL Draft, the Philadelphia Eagles select Danny Watkins, guard, Baylor. The last two picks are bodyguards for these expensive quarterbacks. Miss. Watkins went from full-time starter as a rookie to part-time starter in his second season. By his third season, Watkins was buried on the Dolphins' bench and would appear in just one more NFL game. With the 24th pick in the 2011 NFL Draft, the New Orleans Saints select Cameron Jordan, defensive end, California. This is another value pick right here. Number 11 on my board goes 24. Hit. Jordan seems to keep getting better the longer he's in the league. He's in trouble, and he's hit and traps the ball. It's another work day. Just put on my helmet, go work. He's posted six seasons with 10 or more sacks and was named to the Pro Bowl for the fifth consecutive year at the end of the 2021 season. With the 25th pick in the 2011 NFL Draft, the Seattle Seahawks select James Carpenter. Tackle, Alabama. I had him graded as a early to mid second round pick. He's a finesse left tackle. Meh. Carpenter was drafted as a tackle, but has spent most of his career at guard. He's been a serviceable journeyman, playing for five different teams during his 11 NFL seasons. With the 26th pick in the 2011 NFL Draft, the Kansas City Chiefs select Jonathan Baldwin, wide receiver, Pittsburgh. So Jonathan Baldwin is now joining Dwayne Bowe in that high-powered offense that have tons of playmakers with Jamal Charles. Miss. <laughs> After two forgettable seasons in Kansas City, the Chiefs traded Baldwin to San Francisco where he would catch just three more passes in his NFL career. With the 27th pick in the 2011 NFL Draft, the Baltimore Ravens select Jimmy Smith, defensive back, Colorado. And I like what Michael, the playmaker, Irvin, said about Jimmy Smith. Top 15 ability. Meh. Smith has been steady, if not spectacular, while remaining a stalwart in the Baltimore secondary for the entirety of his 11-year career. With the 28th pick 
in the 2011 NFL Draft, the New Orleans Saints select Mark Ingram, running back Alabama. The New Orleans Saints are getting a running back with a chip on his shoulder. Oh yeah. Hits, show me the money. Ingram was never a true workhorse for the Saints, but he was a consistent producer in New Orleans, scoring double digit touchdowns three times while making three Pro Bowl appearances. Oh! With the 29th pick in the 2011 NFL Draft, the Chicago Bears select Gabe Karimi, offensive tackle, Wisconsin. Makes total sense, Gabe Karimi. He's a technician. He's not a great athlete. Miss. What the hell's going on out here? Karimi missed almost all of his rookie season with an injury. Then he was traded to the Bucks after his second year. That didn't last long, with Karimi playing one season in both Tampa and Atlanta before playing his way out of the league. With the 30th pick in the 2011 NFL Draft, the New York Jets select Muhammad Wilkerson, defensive tackle, Temple. This guy can get to the quarterback. Yep. He, can, he can line up outside yep. or inside. I like what he brings to the table. Man. Wilkerson had an up and down tenure with the Jets. It was Muhammad Wilkerson who forced it out. He just beat the whole right side of the offensive line with two guys. Eventually, his dysfunctional relationship with the front office led to him signing with the Packers in free agency. Wilkerson played just three games for Green Bay before a serious ankle injury effectively ended his career. With the 31st pick in the 2011 NFL Draft, the Pittsburgh Steelers select Cameron Hayward. Defensive end, Ohio State. He's also the eighth defensive end to be chosen in tonight's first round. Hit. Hayward was a steady player early in his career, but he's leveled up in recent seasons. One of the great, great players and a no question Hall of Famer in my mind. Over the past five campaigns, Hayward has averaged nearly nine sacks per season and has made the Pro Bowl five straight times. With the 32nd pick in the 2011 NFL Draft, the Super Bowl champion Green Bay Packers select Derek Sherrard, offensive tackle, Mississippi State. So they went for protection for Aaron Rodgers, Mark. He's a finesse left tackle, a better pass protector. Miss. In three seasons with the Pack, Sherrard appeared in just 20 games and made one start before being released. Good night, everybody.